Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to RAM Overload. Today I'm going to show you guys how to take a full screenshot of a full web page. Okay, and what I mean by that is, you know, you can take a screenshot of any web page. It's pretty simple and easy to do, but it becomes difficult when the page has scrolling in it. So like you can see this page over here is pretty long. Right. Um, if you wanted to take a screenshot of this whole page, it would be quite difficult if you're going to do it manually. Okay. So one of the easiest way to do it in um, Chrome or uh, Edge or basically any browser, right? You want to go to the Chrome Web Store, right? Um, there should be something similar on most browsers. I don't want to say all, but I know definitely for Edge and Chrome it works. Uh, you want to download this extension called Go Full Page. Okay. You want to add it it's really good amazing really simple to use so once you have that installed i already have it installed over here you guys can see uh, you want to go back to the website you're on and you can see over here i have the plugin or um, extension and you want to click it and it will automatically start taking a screenshot and you don't want to disturb this process like scroll up or down because it probably could mess up the screenshot but basically what it's doing is it's uh, taking a screenshot, then scrolling down to the next part, taking another screenshot, and it's just make, made it automated, right? So you don't have to do any manually manual work. So you guys can see over here, this is basically the full screenshot. And right there, basically all of it to the bottom. And you can save it as a PNG or a PDF, which in my opinion is pretty cool that they give you that option. So let's open it up right here. You guys can see everything so next time you need to take a, a full screenshot of a web page definitely look into this plugin or extension you know it does make everything a lot easier and yeah that's pretty much it you know and it, it does also save it right so you can come back to it later um, or you can just delete it and not have it saved because they do end up being quite you know a couple megabytes depending on how big the page is so it's better practice to delete it if you don't need it later on. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, let me know what you guys' thoughts are. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.